Hey, it's Travis Mills, and you are watching my Saturday Night Online Ask Anything chat. You sent questions for me through Romeo. Time to answer. But before we do, I just want to thank my dude Romeo um, for allowing me to do this. I want to thank Saturday Night Online. And last but not least, you guys for asking questions because if you didn't, I wouldn't be able to do this. All right, Irene from Athens, she says, how would you describe the music you make? This is always a tough question for me to answer because I feel like I have so many inspirations. Um, I don't get inspired by one thing to make a song. I feel like it's just a collage and a lot of things come at me all at once um, when I'm working or when I'm writing or when I'm thinking about melodies. And I would just describe it as that. It's like ADHD put into song form. Um, I feel like my tastes are very eclectic and thanks to my parents and my family and the people around me, I grew up listening to a lot of different music. So I never want to box myself in or give myself confines. So I rather just put something on and if I like it, then I like it and I'll work on it. And if I don't, then I'll go to something that I do like. So I feel like the music I make is a representation of everything that's in my head at any given moment. Aaron from Nashville asked me what is my favorite animal. That's easy. It's a giraffe, and I have a huge portrait of one on my leg, tattooed on my leg. Um, I feel like it's it's me as an animal. It's my power animal. It is the animal that I relate to the most. I feel like I have a very long neck, and I can look very giraffe-like sometimes. I'm not the most graceful human being on Earth. Um, and if you've ever seen a picture of a giraffe falling... You will know what I'm talking about. Alyssa from Bucharest. I hope I said that right. She asked, what is the craziest thing a fan has ever done for me? I don't know if it is necessarily for me, but more so to me. I was playing a nightclub and I did a meet and greet after my set at like 2 in the morning. And these girls waited in line to meet me. And when they came up, I was like, you know, it's great to meet you. I took pictures. Uh, talked about you know a little bit about their night and they were like you know you should stay with us after the show and I was like I can't I have to you know I have a three hour drive I gotta get back and they're like no you should really stay we have a hotel all this stuff I was like look ladies I'll see you next time you know thank you so much for hanging out and so I finished my my you know I finished meeting everyone like an hour later and we finally go out to the car, and I was with uh, this dude, James, who was at, working for my record label, and it was his car, and there's, like, lipstick and eyeliner all over the car, and it says, Travis, I love you, marry me, stay the night, K like, lipstick, prints, kiss marks, and so we're like, okay, that's weird, and we get into the car, and it was endearing at that point, and we start the car, and we start driving, and then we just start hearing the tires go like, do-do-do, do-do-do-do. And we get out, and they flattened all four of the tires, so we couldn't leave. And we had to call AAA, and I was stuck there for like four hours. And it was just kind of like, why would you do that? And to top it all off, they came, they came walking out of the alley that we were stranded in, like behind a dumpster, like right after we discovered the car. And we're like, oh, what happened? She's like, ladies, next time just leave the air on my tires, please. Um, besides that, like fans, you know, getting tattoos, that's always, I, it leaves me speechless. I don't know what to say because I just take that as such a high respect. And, you know, I have some of my favorite songs um, and things from my favorite artists tattooed on me. So I can only imagine how it felt to get yours. Constance from Seattle asks, what is your favorite emoji? That's easy, poop. The poop emoji because it has two eyeballs, it's smiling, it can mean a lot of different things, um, and I use it almost every day. Scarlett from Brazil asks, what made you decide to change your artist name? I don't feel like I necessarily changed it. It was T Mills and my name is Travis. That's why it was T. And so I just said, call me by Travis. Everyone does anyway, so I might as well. Have everyone just say it like that. I didn't change anything crazy. Um, another reason is because I feel like I made, I dropped a lot of music um, under T Mills, and I've been making some of my favorite music. 
that I've ever made and I didn't want it to get lost in the mix or overlooked and so I figured it would be a fresh start for all of my you know my new sounds and and all the songs that I spent so long making and, and all the work that I put into getting better and writing things that I'm really proud of you can call me whatever you want though Clara from New York says, do you plan to do any touring later this year? Yes, I do. And I'm very excited. I can't announce it yet, but I will be doing um, two shows very soon, very close to me. And I know the people that usually come to them are going to be very excited. And I'm going to be playing a place that I've never played before. Let's see. Alex from Norfolk. Ask, what do you hope to achieve by the time you're 30? Wow, that is a loaded question. Um, I would like to have at least two albums that I'm very proud of, that people are very proud of, that you all are very proud of. Hope to make you all proud with at least two albums, um, two really big ones in that amount of time. Uh, I would like to have gone on many tours. I would have liked to finish seeing the rest of the world. I've never been to Japan. I've never been to Australia. What else? I'd like to go back to Europe. I gotta do that. And the rest, I guess, I'll just have to wait and see, like the rest of you guys. Michael from Pittsburgh says, How do you prepare for a show? Do you have any rituals? Uh... My rituals would probably include jumping up and down uh, and doing a secret handshake with my drummer because that's just what we do before every show. Sometimes I text my mom. I drink a lot of water before I play. I don't eat food, really, on show days just because, I don't know, I don't really get that hungry. I might eat something in the morning, and I won't eat anything before I play, so it's always dinner afterwards. I feel like it just works out better that way. I don't really drink that much alcohol. I just vibe in the green room, maybe some FIFA, do my vocal warm ups, a lot of tea with honey, and just, yeah, good vibes, friends. Kylie from Savannah, Georgia, she asked, What is your biggest achievement so far? I think my biggest achievement so far would just be the fact that I, I get to do this every single day. This is, you know, I guess my job, even though I don't really consider it one. Just getting able, you know, being able to, to walk into a studio and make music and get on the bus or get on a plane and go play a show and get to meet everyone. And I, I just feel like every day I wake up, I'm, I'm really lucky to be able to do what I do. Carly from Los Angeles says, when are you going to release your album? Carly from Los Angeles, very, very soon. The reason why I haven't given anyone a date is because I know how you guys always like to hop on my head if something doesn't come out, but I'm working really hard on new music. I've been in the studio every day, and I just put out Young and Stupid featuring T.I., which was like the introduction to the album. It's the intro to what's to come. Lindsay from Columbia asks, what is your favorite tattoo out of all that you have? That is a tough question. I would have to say either my knuckles, they say patience, and I feel like not a lot of people have, well, I'll speak for myself, I don't have a lot of patience, so it reminds me to have that. Um, I have a portrait of an elephant for my great-grandmother who passed, and it says, remember me always, on my leg. That's one of my favorite tattoos, and that's right next to my giraffe tattoo. And then I have to say my, my whole arm. I don't know if that counts as one tattoo because it's the whole thing, but um, it means a lot to me. I feel like it represents me to the fullest and I was really excited to get it. And I love the way it looks. Nicole from West Orange asks, how would you describe your fashion style? Random, out there, whatever is clean in my closet. I don't put that much thought into it. I just like certain things and I trust my instincts and if I like something then I get it and I'll just wear it. I don't like really pick out outfits like the day before or anything. I just kind of wake up and throw things on and, and make it work, which I feel like you got to do. Maria from Fayetteville says, what is the most memorable, th memorable thing a fan 
has ever done for you. Besides tattoos, when I was in Brazil, um, one of my fan clubs in Brazil, they made me this like really cool, not trophy, but almost like award. And they presented it to me during my show. And I thought that was amazing because no one asked them to do that. They just wanted to. And I still have it. It's in my house. Um, someone else also made me a bobblehead of me, which was... I don't know. That was crazy because I know how long it took. I know how much time it took. She made me a custom bobblehead. And I appreciate it. Jennifer Memphis asks, Who's an up-and-coming artist you are really into these days? Um, he's not... I wouldn't say he's up-and-coming. He's released some projects. But I've been listening to this dude, King Cruel, a lot. K-I-N-G-K-R-U-L-E. I believe he's from the UK, and I just really like his music. He's young. I think he's like 22 years old. His voice does not sound like it, and I've been obsessed with it. Let's see. Janelle from New Orleans says, who's the most epic person you've ever partied with? That would have to go to my guy Wiz Khalifa because uh, first time I've ever been on a private jet was with Wiz, and he took me to Tyrese's house, and I met R. Kelly. Snoop so it's like hey there you go Jess from London asks what's your favorite holiday uh either Christmas or Halloween just Christmas I like being with my family family vibes it reminds me of being a kid and going snowboarding and um Halloween is just fun let's see um and from Miami asks what do you like to do in your spare time I do a lot of things. I host a radio show. Uh, I'm working on a TV show. Um, I ride my bike. I skateboard a little bit. I'm really into clothes, so I'm probably at some store on some street looking for the next article of clothing I'm going to buy. I'm in my studio messing around with sounds and production. I have two dogs that um, I like to take hiking and do weird stuff with. Not weird stuff. I guess that came out wrong. <laughs> I have two dogs that I like to take hiking. And that's it. Hannah from Langhorn asks, What is one food you absolutely cannot stand? I hate tomatoes. So please don't ever send me or give me anything with tomatoes on it. Rebecca from Sao Paulo asks, what do you need to have in your dressing room during a tour? Water, Perrier, lemon, honey, and tea. And like grapes or something. Yeah, because, you know, you got to stay healthy. Um, oh, and a bathroom because, yeah, you need one of those. If you don't, it, it kind of sucks. Um, all right, well, that's all my questions. I want to say thank you again to Romeo for giving me my very first Ask Anything chat. And, um... Thank you guys for, for asking the questions. I miss you. I love you. And hopefully I'll see you real soon.